Hey guys, this is Simran and welcome back to Foodiotopia. Today, we will be making oatmeal raisin cookies. If you have tried these, you know how delicious these are. If you haven't, then they are a must have. The brown sugar and cinnamon in this recipe really enhance the flavor of these cookies so that they taste amazing. So without further ado, let's get baking. To make this recipe, we will need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, three fourths teaspoon baking soda, three fourths teaspoon of salt, three fourths teaspoon of ground cinnamon, three fourths cup of softened unsalted butter, three fourths cup of brown sugar, half a cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. 2 eggs 1 cup of raisins You can use any types of raisins you want. I'm using golden raisins and 2 cups of rolled oats First, you will preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit Then, you will take a baking tray, put some foil on it and you can add on some butter or non-stick baking spray Make sure to spread it all around the foil. We will take a medium bowl and sift together the flour, the salt, the cinnamon, and the baking soda. Then you will just sift these and you can just whisk them together. You will set that aside and take a large bowl. Into the bowl, we'll add in the butter, and we will beat the butter until it becomes smooth. Once the butter becomes smooth, make sure to scrape down the sides of your bowl. Then we will add in the granulated sugar and the brown sugar. We will give this a mix. After you have mixed these ingredients together, this is what it should look like. Also make sure to scrape down the sides of your bowl again. We will add in one of the eggs. And we will mix this together. After you have mixed the first egg in, we will add in the second egg. We are adding the eggs separately so that the dough has a right texture. And then we will mix it again. Every time you mix ingredients together, you want to scrape your bowl right after you mix it. After we've added in both the eggs and mixed them, we'll add in the vanilla extract and give this another mix. After you have mixed the extract into the dough, we will start adding in the dry ingredient mixture. So you will add in around half of the dry ingredients. Again, we are adding in only a part of the mixture because we want the dough to have the right consistency. And then you will give this a good mix. Then you will add the rest of the dry ingredient mixture. And give this a good mix. Once the dough is fully formed, we will add in the raisins and the oats. And then you will fold these in to the dough. Now your cookie dough should be ready. We will start shaping the dough and putting it on the baking tray. If you have an ice cream scoop, you might want to use that to shape the cookie dough. If you don't, then you can take a small measuring cup, add some oil in it, 
spread it around. And then you can use a spoon to take some of the dough and add it into the cup. And then you will take the measuring cup with the dough in it, put it upside down on the baking tray and your dough should come out. Then on the bottom of your measuring cup, you can put on a little bit of oil, spread it, and just slightly flatten out the cookie dough. You will repeat these steps until all of the cookie dough has been used up. Make sure to space your cookies out. Once you have fully shaped your cookies, you can bake them for around 11 to 15 minutes or until they are golden brown. Also, this recipe makes around 20 cookies. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Tell me how you liked it in the comments below. If you would like the full recipe, it will be down in the description box. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell icon to get updates on all of my new videos. See you in the next video!